Oh my god. You know, I've never unboxed a one clip before, but that's really big. Unfortunately, I can't do that. It's not mine. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You've seen the thumbnail. You know what this is. But just, just for security reasons, this is for my friend Lachlan, uh, Meadows Productions on YouTube. Uh, I will try to convince him to do an unboxing video of this. He currently is sick, so I don't know when that'll come out. But this looks, this looks really nice just from the the outset. I've never seen a one click in the flesh, so this is like, holy crap! This is number eighty two. So, I'm really excited to see him hopefully unbox this. Uh, <laughs> in a couple of days, I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, ironically, you're the first person. You're you're the first who are actually seeing that because he obviously has not gotten that yet. And this video is going to come out for me tomorrow, and I'm seeing him ideally in two days' time. So, but we're talking about this. This is Barbie. Uh, you might not have heard about it. Very on the ground. Um, this is the full slip edition, uh, which I really like the artwork for. Of course, they did have this as an edition artwork wise if you were to get the standard 4k UHD release um, not a steelbook release but just a regular release which is nice but I wasn't actually gonna buy it, it was just because my mate wanted the one click and you know he had work on the night and I have a lot of experience of buying Manta Labs it's been a while since I bought one but that being said uh, I really liked this I, I took a look at all three editions and I really liked this version of it I'm like this looks really nice I want it you know okay so first up you get stickers um it's all glittery and stuff what do you get you get real world this way the Barbie logo Barbie land the airport thingy and a little shooting star my girlfriend is going to love this <laughs> she didn't even care that much for the movie but I think if she sees this she'll be like oh my god I want that um I'm a, I'm scared but uh you know uh and it does come with which I should take the little plastic mm. Yum, 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 yum. You do get your Manta Lab logo. Get that to focus, if I go close enough. What does that even have? Oh, it's a, sh it's a shoe and glasses. And there's like a necklace in there, is that? Like a bracelet or something? Yeah, it's, it's very, um, you ever heard of a, what's that thing? Consumerism? <laughs> but yeah, now you got a bag, you get sunglasses, you get a little, it looks like a hairpin or something weird. I'm not a girl. I don't know. I don't have hair. That's a better thing. <laughs> it does come with your 4K UHD sleeve J card, which does actually have it in pink, which is really cute. Um, you know, most brands would not do that. Um, and it does come with your regular details if you care to pause and read, but it's exactly the same kind of stuff you will get normally. I believe the Blu-ray disc is region... I'd imagine it's region A. Uh, it doesn't actually stipulate, like anywhere. It might be because it's, is it? It's not a Warner Brothers film, it is Warner. Yeah, they might not do this as region A, I'll be honest, I don't know. But the fact that it isn't stipulating is quite something. In its plastic, it's glossy, it is shiny, it is crisp and gorgeous. Uh, you get your sticker at the base, bottom left hand corner there, sorry about the reflections from the viewfinder. Um, but you know, that looks nice, nice and cute. What have we got? Mantelab, uh, exclusive steelbook number 62. Um, there doesn't seem to be any issues with it damage-wise, but again, it's still in plastic. It's not like I can get a return, can I? Um, and then you get your back cover. I know it's still shiny and whatever because of the plastic. Taken off now, Barbie logo on the top. This is number 889 of 1000. And a Barbie logo on the spine. These both came in their individual, as you saw with that Manta Lab, that big one click. They both come in their own padded boxes uh, of, of bubble wrap, whatever styrofoam this is. So uh, that's always good, you know. I, I like that they've upped their game in that regard. It, they've been doing that for a while now, it's not a new thing. The Steelbook is in bubble wrap, uh, it's, it's in its own plastic, which is insane it's 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 crazy that they go to that length of making sure that the steelbook itself doesn't get scratched along with everything else like it doesn't scratch up all right let me peel this plastic off i'll have to remove that sticker and put it somewhere in the set i usually cut around the sticker 
and place it in the steel book or in the book or something. So we'll see what happens with that. Now the debate, do I want to wear gloves? Um, you know what? I will. I don't really get too pedantic about this anymore because I don't collect any steel books, but I still have the gloves. And mostly because it is still glossy and shiny. Uh, God, this feels way too delicate. <laughs> as in me and how I'm doing this. Uh, this is looks fantastic. I love the pink, I love the glitter of it. Um, you get the one big spotlight coming from my light up and above me. This is not professional lighting. Um, what do we got? So we got, we got embossing on the top, the whole Barbie logo and the characters of, uh, I believe it's Ken and Barbie. Um, for those who don't know, uh, is all embossed. It looks stunning. Uh, really quite a look to it. It has this plastic glossy finish uh, with that texture. Um, you know, as you go with your Barbie spine, you know, 4K logo, Barbie logo, Manta Lab, and Warner Brothers logos. Uh, same as on the base, which also reveals the number, which is okay. And on the top with the Barbie logo again and on the back i forget about the back the back is all is the whole crew it's all the barbies um there's barbie and barbie and barbie and ken and barbie and barbie i've been sarcastic on purpose just in case you didn't realize anyway um this looks nice too you know i know it's not a double lenticular or glossy or, or i mean it's still glossy and i've all got line work throughout their costumes it's nice it's cute it works it's very, very Barbie. Cool, that slides out nice and easily. For the obvious sake, I'm doing the steel book last. But you get a booklet, regular poster, it's actually a whole wide poster, which is nice. I usually don't think I care much for Manta Lab booklets, and I have proven myself right. I don't care much for Manta Lab booklets. Um, it's just screenshots from the movie, which is still nice, a good opening page to go with. Uh, second page is individual images, which is again, promo images there. I think that might be a still from the movie that's been put down as a promo image, which I'm good with. Like, you know, you get good landscape shots like that. But it, this is all that it is. It's just images from the movie and that's it. Just images from the movie. There's no, there's no text, there's no, let's, look at all the actors, there's no critical analysis. It's my only pet peeve about Mantelab, but that's kind of meant to be the point. The boutique element of it isn't the boutique like something like, uh, you know, an Arrow video release or whatever. It's a, hey, look at how pretty this is, and that's it, which is fine. You know, it's what they do, it's what they do best. It works. These are pretty decent images to have the split screen effect as well, which I'm usually not fond of because these books are very tightly bound, but they don't look awful. Um, you can still see that they're high five in there, you know, because actually it's not, it's not a bad array of images, I'll be honest. Like, okay, this is maybe the first bad one. <laughs> there's a car and then there's Barbie and Ken. That's not a great image, but at least not a great layout of it. Uh, then you get your dancing image, you know, similar to the back cover, but specifically from the from the film. Oh my God, it's the new Doctor. I know that guy. I don't know him personally, I just know him from Doctor Who. Anyway, Barbie and Ken, that's a nice image actually. That is a nice image. <laughs> that's a good still. I wish they had more behind the scenes images. That would be great, you know? Just seeing them all happy and looking pink and stuff. This is cute, actually. Obviously, it's a great moment for Ken. Um, not a good character moment, just a very funny moment. If they had of him taking off the sunglasses, that would have been maybe a bit more amusing for me personally, but at the same time, that only really works as a visual thing, as a gif, you know? So yeah, that's, that's a nice image too, the heist kind of thing. And none of this, there's only been like, what, one or two images set in the real world? This has been such a, we're here for Barbie, we're here for Barbie land. The only image in the real world is them on the beach. Uh, and when they're dressed up as cowboys. Uh, and cowgirl. So, cow people. Um, so yeah, that's, it's not bad. It's cute. It's a good array of images. It's serviceable. 
that's not what you're here for. You're here for the creme de la creme, the steel book. You're here for the steel book, you're here for what's inside the steel book, and you're here for the um, extra stuff. So, uh, let's cut this bitch open. Okay, so this is highly glossy, um, embossed. It, it's interesting, you've got a border, so you get some embossing for the border, so then you get another layer of embossing for the B, and it's exactly the same as like the front cover, just more kind of relaxed. I kind of like that about it. Um, yeah, no, it's exactly, it's, it's genuinely exactly the same, except that um, she's got a different face post posture, and he's got a, a thumb up. So it's a good contrast, I think, because I really like both of these images. Uh, he just looks a bit more... Um, uh, what's the word? Sociopathic on that image, if you will. Uh, <laughs> it looks a bit too overwhelmed for his own good. Um, but still, no, that's really nice. And it, it's got a nice smooth texture to it, good feel to it. Uh, any spot gloss? It's just the whole thing's glossy. There's nothing really in particular that overtly shines. Uh, but I think that works well enough. Um, back cover, you get... You know, the great image of them, the great image. You get the image of them driving to, to the real world. Uh, it's good. I like it. It's got a nice cartoony feel to it. I like how it's sticking with the theme of Barbie and Ken. Uh, I do appreciate that. Um, then you get the Barbie logo. Again, this is all just promotional stills and stuff, but I have the regular. I've got the regular still. What the fuck? Oh, it's a booklet. <laughs> I thought this was a poster. I'm thinking, what? But no, it's just a little envelope. Oh, a dual leap is in here. What the hell? Uh... So I have the standard um, 4K steelbook from Australia, which is fine. Again, it's just promo images. Uh, that's nice. It's a cute contrast of discs artwork. Then you get the 4K. Interesting that they've buried the 4K. So that's the inside of your steelbook, which is nice. I like that. You've got Barbie and Dua Lipa. You get Ken as well. It's so random that Dua Lipa is just there. Like, no one else is in this whole entire image. And it's just, look, Dua Lipa. Sure, why not? Do whatever you want to do, my guy. So, yeah. It's not bad as an overall. It doesn't obviously match as a good uh, landscape, but I'm not... Over it depends on the image if I like a good landscape. But, uh, no, it's nice. It's glossy. It looks good. It's kind of exactly what I would have preferred for it. It's just, just nice, you know? And the discs are back in. And let's take a look inside the envelope. So you get the Barbie title on it. Pop this baby open. Oh, this is going to be a cluster. Because it's both art cards, little like lobby card kind of things, and character cards. Cute. Obviously, you don't want to damage the steel book. Okay, um, I'll do the character cards last because there's a, a handful of them. Oh, this is nice. As a main backing, this is the background of each one. Uh, it's exactly the same as like the steelbook again with Ken going with his weird face. It, it works as an artwork, you know? I don't know why he's looking up that way, it's kind of weird. But anyway, uh, you get images from the film. There's them traveling, uh, then there's them traveling. Uh, it would be really funny if all these were just them traveling. Oh my god, it's just them traveling. <laughs> Please, do it, come on. Yes, they're traveling again, oh my god. Yeah, oh my god, they're traveling again. <laughs> this is great. This is so funny. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's literally just that. That is so good. Because this is a, a fun, practical effects moment, you know? And the fact that it's just stills of them traveling in different locations. Oh, that is, that's, that's a great idea. Good on them. That's a great idea for them, for these little art cards. Because mini posters. I can hang these up, baby. That's beautiful. And then, of course, last but not least, we have pick a card, any card. They're all the same, except for when you turn them around. Then you get Barbie. So this is what the standard Australian steelbook looks like. I imagine it's the same as something in the US. I don't know. I know there was a pink one that had a similar thing, so that's the back of the main Australian steelbook. Now I don't have to grab the steelbook to show you. Wow. Um, I was going to do a comparison, but it's just a matte finish with these kind of images, which they're fine, you know, you just get the main characters, you know, it doesn't tell you the names or anything, but that's got a weird image for her foot. I guess it's just a shoe, isn't it? Uh, then you get one of the Kens. Is that it? No? Ah, oh, you get, um, the guy, I can't remember his name. No, I can't remember his name, can I? 
Obviously, I know Michael Cera, but I can't remember his character name. Alan? I can't think of anything else but the dinosaur from um, Jurassic Park. Then you get the present as well, and then you're back to Barbie. So that's not bad. As an overall, um, a decent selection of character cards, if I can show these off. Whoop. <laughs> there you go. You get a slew of cards. Doesn't really matter. These are nice though, like, because again, these are all just production. Um, the, these are the promo images that they had, which was an interesting selection. As an overall, what do I think of the Barbie set? Uh, I think it pulls it off. I, I, I like its design. It's got a weird kind of finish to it on the back where it looks a bit kind of rubbed in, but maybe it's just like a weird layer of dirt or something. I don't know. Yeah, that looks all right now. Oh, maybe it might just be the heat residue from my hands. Probably. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um, take to check out other collections I've done, other unboxings. There'll be a list on the screen with other special edition releases I've looked at, other Manta Labs, other Steelbook releases. Uh, and yeah, hopefully I'll convince Lachlan to unbox the um, one-click set. I don't know if that comes out. If it is, I'll link it down below, but I don't know when that'll come out. It won't be when this is out, I apologize. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And uh, I, I don't know any of the quotes from the movie, so I can't say anything. Oh, I guess there's hi, Barbie, but that doesn't really work as a goodbye, does it? Bye, Barbie. I don't know. Bye.